one sec. I uh, I forgot oh to my open God. up, mix it up again. Mm -hmm. What's new? Don't mind me. What's new here? I, I still haven't updated it. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> this is uh. Unbelievable. What a bunch of rookies. <laughs> You have Tarkov um, up there too, by the way. Uh oh, I never put a image up there. That's probably why. I sent you one. Um mm, 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 mm. Um let's uh let's take care of this real real quick. Uh Are are we live? We're live, right? We're totally live uh, right now. Um check check one two Mike. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're totally yeah. live. <laughs> It's okay. okay. It's okay. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Got to do your first one somehow, uh -huh. right? <laughs> I wish this was our first one. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> All right. Uh, <clears throat> let's just adjust this one. You didn't like the one I sent you, huh? I see how it is. You know what? You know what? I uh, uh let's uh, let's do one better. I got a Cowboys one. We we made the intro Cowboys, and I'm not gonna put a Cowboys no, no. one up. Unbelievable. Mm, Better get one. Mm, 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 Let's go. Mm. <laughs> Did I mention? You know, just for the record, you know, we we've already talked. But I'm sick. Hello, how's it going? Getting over a little cold. And uh, I I, I believe I'm allowed to have a couple whoopsie daisies. Um, you sure? Probably not, but. Mm -hmm. Mike, yeah, check. Uh, my, are we, are we my, on? How are you? Is, is this, Can you not hear is me? this live? Are we, are we live? Yeah, yeah we are. I mean. <laughs> Sadly. Unfortunately. Whoa. Just looking at the power rankings. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got to pull those up. Yep. I got that pulled up. Oh my goodness. We'll talk, well, we will. We'll go through those. I'll let you go through them here in a sec. But hey, everybody, how's it going? We are live. Um, <laughs> we still don't have all the kinks down yet, so uh, we're we're working on that. But um, hey, thanks for being here. I still. Oh man. Don't, don't judge me oh, right no. now. <laughs> I had a mix it up was not on the right side of the screen. You went mute on me. I went mute. Am I muted? Oh, I muted myself on Discord. Yeah. Oh my gosh. How long have I been muted for? I don't know. Probably fifteen minutes. You know, <laughs> at least maybe a half hour. I've been live for three. <laughs> <laughs> not long. <sighs> And I, I tell, I never edit these. I, this is what I, I post these right away. Mm -hmm. Now I might have to edit one, but I probably yeah. won't. Yeah, probably not. By the way, we are looking excellent, Duck. I love your look. You're looking great today. Thank you. Thank you. You as well. You as well. Even though we're, I'm going for a more beach vibe. Feeling the hottest, but you're looking, looking, looking that uh, damn peachy beach over vibe. there. That... <laughs> That's, yeah, that's exactly what I was looking for. So, uh, you know, you know what? We're going right into it. We're just going to say thank you for being here for your live. If you're watching this as a VOD, whether it be on Twitch or YouTube, we really do appreciate it. It means a ton to us. The fact that you care enough to go check out our opinion on sports. Thank you. I know we have some pretty hot takes yes. and some good takes, too. Some really good takes. And we may or may not have called some things right. Probably on the ladder on that one, hey? Some. I didn't say all. <laughs> I'm never wrong. Never? Never. Okay. Ever. Where's your wife at? Don't don't bring her in. Let's ask her. <laughs> <laughs> don't. All right. Not on everything. <laughs> and especially not on our best ball league. Oof. Yeah. I mean, we are currently Oof. in eighth out of 20. Uh, excuse me. We are eighth out of 12. But we're only 46 points behind first place. Um, where I said I felt we were weak at was taking Jared Goff and Evan Baker. Baker didn't do that hot, but Goff, chef ki three chef kisses. 
Baker wasn't bad in overall yardage, just didn't get any touchdown passes. It was all running. That's what hurt, you know. Golf, uh, man, went 300-plus yards, plus two two-point mm -hmm. conversions with three passing touchdowns. That is nice. And 14 rushing yards. And you would think that that would lead to a W, you know? I mean, overall, the team didn't do – too terrible i mean ideally in best ball you would like to have all your players putting up 20 points especially in a four right. point ppr um right to me at a minimum you got to have all your guys put up at least 10 not including your quarterback needs to put up like the 30 burger which we did but mm -hmm. i mean we had emmanuel sanders as our third receiver and he only put up nine and then we had a, mm. uh, antonio gibson put up a beautiful 12 for us in the flex spot Nick Chubb got us to 23. Um, Chase Edmonds got us 14. A really good pickup with Zach Pascal. Late-round flyer putting up to 20. But that's why you really go for those late-round receivers because you just mm -hmm. need to hit. you got to scatter dartboard it. And, um, I mean, we had Terry McLaurin only put up 10. But what really got us, uh, Mike Evans busted. Mm. Um, you know, He didn't have a good game, did he? No, he had five. Oh, jeez. I mean, Devin Singletary did all right. He put up 11, but we're, we're really strong on running back. We don't have to worry about that. But we had A.J. Green only put up four. Randall Cobb, which we took a flyer on. he went. We reached a lot on our wide receivers. I think. Yeah, we reached a lot. We had uh, yeah. Callaway. OBJ didn't play. Yeah, that hurt. But, that hurt some other stuff for me. <laughs> yeah. We'll see, though. I mean, to me, best ball is all about depth. We saw a lot of injuries this weekend. Um. Ryan, I mean, we'll get into a lot of them early, but I mean, some, some, some of these players aren't even playing anymore, or at least not on our team. But a lot of players that got picked high are hurt. Yeah, I mean, even right, even you, potential season ending. Yeah, I mean, IR stuff in best ball too. Sometimes people only take two QBs, and someone might have taken a Ryan Fitzpatrick as their only secondary QB, which means they're getting a zero on a bye week mm -hmm. for their starting QB. Because you can't draft anymore on that, right? No, it is over. It, it is, is. is riding with what you got, which is okay. why we went real heavy on deeper sleepers and right. Gave up on our quarterback long spot. term. Yeah, I think we'll, <laughs> quarterback spot will overturn. We'll, we'll see. get better on those. I I am in first place in one of my best ball drafts. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. Oh, nice. I uh I have two hundred and ten points in that one. Ooh. Yeah, which uh in in this best ball, the one we're in. I only put up uh, 152. Okay. So I did a lot better on that one. But I also did a lot of best ball drafts, so you're <laughs> going to do good on some of them. Right. You got to at least do one. All right. Well, let's move on to right. Thursday night football. I have this one start off as this was a good game. This was the type oh. of game to start the season. That it was hot. It yeah, was. That game was awesome. I have. I don't think I've been that excited for a game in a long time. Now we're gonna get to another game where I was jumping up and down, screaming. But until that point, this was probably the best game of football I've watched in a long time, not including Super Bowls. Nothing will compare to Brady coming back in a Super Bowl. That it just won't happen. <laughs> right. Yeah, it just was. Uh, it was great to see the you know back and forth of this game. Um, you know, both both quarterbacks playing well. I mean, Dak Prescott was over 400 yards pass, passing. Uh, Tom Brady was right there with 379. You know, they both had uh, three or four touchdown passes, a couple interceptions. You know, so we saw a lot of offense, a lot of defense. I'm a defense person. I love watching defense. That's uh, that's my forte. That's what I played uh, early on. I didn't play in high school or anything like that, but before that. Um, defense was huge. So watching some of those plays, um, you know, but there was a lot of good, a lot of good offense too. I mean, it was, I, I love seeing, uh, the Cowboys play well. I think they have potential to have a really good year. Um, you know, Dak Prescott coming back from that injury was, was huge for them. A lot of unknowns, but he did throw a lot. He, he had 58 attempts. That's a lot. Yeah. It's a ton. I mean, um, I think they they relied on their passing way too often, especially in the beginning of the game, um, and didn't give the ball to Elliott enough. But that that D line for Tampa Bay was insane. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were stopped. They they had a what? F 
just over 50 yards rushing total, you know, only, but Elliott only had three carry, 11 carries at 33 yards. So there was a lot of lot less touches. I think they just got into the Dak Prescott. And I think that's, that could be their downfall in the long term is relying on Dak too much because that's what happened last year and the year before that relied on him way too much um, getting the passes out. So Yeah, there, there was a lot of surprises with this game. And uh, I'm going to go in a little bit of detail on a lot of them here. And um, one of them is the game plan for the Cowboys was they were – they weren't going to run the ball that much because they knew how powerful the front seven was of Tampa. And they, mm-hmm. they knew even, even the announcer said, if there was only, if there was one uh, way to attack the bucks, you know, one great weakness, the Achilles heel was their backfield. And that's mm-hmm. what they, they pushed. And then they early on it. Tampa got some injuries in the backfield. They took it. They tried to take it. They tried to take a severe advantage. You know, luckily the bucks were able to hold on and win the game. But that, that's the way they attacked, and the Cowboys look great. I mean, you're missing a, one of the best starting tackles in the game. Mm-hmm. And against that front seven, you're still able to hold up against them. It was really impressive for the Cowboys. I I originally had Washington winning their division. I, I can't say that no more. I mean, I think the Cowboys take it. It's just it, – it's, it's a completely different team. I mean, all the receivers look good. Dak, I mean, I was really low on Dak. Mm-hmm. Seeing him play, I'm like, man, this man deserves the money. Oh, yeah. He deserved every bit. Like, the way he looked on Thursday was lights out. Right. Yeah, it was now, good to see him come back from that injury and play that well right off the bat. I was excited about that. I'm a big Dak fan. I, I like the Cowboys. I mean, it's a team I've always, you know – where they called America's team or yeah, they're they, America's the big, team, you know, so it's a big thing with that. And a lot of people like watch them. A lot of people hate them. A lot of people love them. They're but I think they, yeah, they're, they're doing good. Um, you know, it's, it's to play against the Super Bowl champs from prior that came back with everybody looking the same exact. There wasn't a whole lot of change there. And for them to just lose by two, yeah, that, that's awesome. I think they have definitely a lot of potential. No, going to the other side of the ball, going to the Tampa side of the ball, I will say they looked much more on point. Gronk and Brady look back in action, look like they are like prime. Yeah. Prime Gronk and Brady time. Looks just prime. Him hit Brady's and A uh A B's connection. Antonio yeah, Brown really looked good. amazing. You know, they had a connection. He Antonio Brown looks like the number one in that offense. Now, you have you know, Chris Godwin, who they franchise tagged. Mm. You have Mike Evans, clear number one, and Antonio Brown, who's playing like the number one. You have three number ones in that offense. That offense looks, I mean, if you keep that up, it's going to be lights out. I think once they get uh, the gears rolling more, the mm-hmm. common thing we're going to talk about in these games is a lot of players look gassed. They're not used to playing the full you know the full game used to having like a couple drives in the preseason there's only three preseason games players aren't playing the entire time they were you could tell gassed players weren't you know fourth quarter came it was <sighs> just right. people out <clears throat> well in the wide receiver core they had almost three of them at 100 yards catching you know Gronkowski was at 90 the other Godwin and Antonio Brown that doesn't mention Mike Evans Mm-hmm. He only had 24 yards. He had three receptions on his six targets. No. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, uh, so, you know, we're seeing some of their other guys stepping up. Like, you know, like you said, AB stepping up, taking a bigger role than he ever has. He had five receptions on 121 yards. You know he was balling and getting some, you know, some yards, some yak. Or after catch, can two, we so please he was definitely talk, getting that? Can we please talk about how perfect a spiral Tom Brady is still throwing oh, gosh, at his age? That it, ball, the release perfect. is even faster. Yeah, it. I literally want. It's it, it's it's like what? Uh, yeah, the go for a reason. For I mean, I was watching a, a video of them talking about over his time. I don't know. It was maybe during the game, wasn't it? Where they were showing his release from when he started. To, yeah, to know. yeah, it was like even quicker. How do you how do you do that? 
Yeah. Um, so it's just it's amazing to see him still 44. He's three years older than I am and still tearing it up the league. Um, Definitely. The just think, I think what's cool about it is, though, it just shows you how some of these quarterbacks can still continue to play mm-hmm. for a long period of time. You got to keep them safe, though. You got to have that offensive line that keeps them. You got to keep the running backs that know how to block tight ends that know how to block. You got to have those those people in place to let them have that longevity. And we could, I think we're going to continue to see quarterbacks playing for a long period of time if they stay injury free. You know, well, Dak Prescott has important. a potential. You it's know, a, I think injury free is huge. Yeah, it's huge, right? Um, it's important to note too: uh, conditioning, staying healthy. Right. Not, you know, he's got a very regiment diet. Tom Brady, his diet is it's bonkers. Yeah, um, he is. But he's doing it because he loves what he's doing. You know, who knows how long he'll play? He might, he might, this might be his last year. We don't know. It just depends on how he wants to be done or not. He yeah. can play, play until he ever, he wants, he wants to stop playing, you know? So, uh, yeah, great game overall, though. That game was amazing. It was fun to watch. You know, hopping into Sunday, um, we're going to quickly, briefly go through these. Um, we have some highlighted, but uh, Eagles 32 to the Falcons 6. I was a little bit surprised. Um, I don't want to go too in depth with it. Jalen Hurts looked pretty good though, yes, but more, did. more, more like the Falcons not looking good was the bigger picture there. I mean, Kyle Pitts, this rookie tight end that we all, everybody was high on, didn't look that good. I mean, he had a couple drops. Then you have, you know, a lot of other players in that game just not looking that hot. Calvin Ridley included. Um, next we had the Steelers winning 23 to the, to the Bills 16. Um, I think we could say the Bills probably didn't look that hot. I'm not, sh- I'm not surprised on that score. Um, you know, I, I know Pittsburgh was going to come out firing. They kind of do all the time. They had a couple down years, but I don't, I don't see the Bills, you know, staying down. They're going to get back into this. No, right? I, I agree. I think the Bills are That's just uh, a game. A hot team, and they're going to bounce you know, back. I think no problem. Josh Allen's complete, completion percentage is pretty pretty rough. That didn't really help. So I don't know if there was a lot of drop passes in that or bad throws or something like that, but he threw quite a few balls. You know, he's 21, mm-hmm. you know, incomplete passes. So another that, ex- that adds up. Another exciting game is the Vikings 24 losing to the Bengals in overtime at 27. Um, I, I was high on the Bengals. Game to watch. I think yeah, we chose the Bengals to, to win that one too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a good game to watch. Um, you know, Kirk Cousins is is there. I think he just needs to get a little bit better with, with some of that. You know, yeah, Dalvin yeah. Cook only had 61 yards rushing. So, uh, Joe Mixon came back. You know, he he was kind of up. Played pretty good. He had 127 yards uh, rushing. That's huge. So, 100. percent Um, the four. Now, I this is my game. We're you know each of us has our favorite team, and these are going to be called our my, our games. My game. Uh, this is my game. The 49ers beat beat my Lions, 41 to 33. But this was the game that had me. I went, you know, I went to my cousin's house this Sunday. We were watching football together, and my God, we were, we were standing up, screaming, slapping hands, cheering because it, it, it was crazy. I mean, we're getting our butts kicked. We're like, oh, here we go. Here's the Lions again. You know, same old, same old. And yet again, mm-hmm. same Lions. Here comes the fourth quarter, and it's you're down by 28. There's like three minutes left in the game. You got to score a touchdown, get a two-point conversion, get the ball back, score again, get another two-point conversion, and repeat. And they almost did it. They <laughs> ended the game with the ball, about to do it the third time. They score a touchdown, get two-point. Get the onside kick, the first onside kick of the year. And it was the most beautiful onside kick I've ever seen. Perfect two bo- two low bounces, third bounce, pops the ball up. Hits, hits George Kittle in the face. Lions pick the ball up, march mm. it down, boom, score, boom, get the two-point conversion. Go for the onside, don't get it, but they still have three timeouts. They take timeouts, they get the ball back. And they just couldn't convert that last. <sighs> it was it's a lot to ask. Whew. But that's, that's the gritty team. You know, Dan Campbell, our new head coach, said, like, listen, we're we're gonna be grindy. 
we're going to be gritty. We're going to be, we're going to fight. You know, we're not giving up. We're going to fight. And it was good to see that as a Lions fan, to see the mm -hmm. game end like that. Like, I, I feel better. Like, we may have lost, but I feel better. Especially given our future coming up, two draft, two first round draft picks this year, two first round draft picks next year. Yeah, you guys are building. You know, I wouldn't expect them to make playoffs this year, but potential, it especially seemed like the the. Uh, you know, with... We are now the worst division in football, where every team lost this week. <laughs> Literally, it is. Yeah. yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's Green Bay versus Detroit this Monday. Okay. Is, is it? That... Um. I didn't look to see. Yeah, I have it pulled up. Let me look week two here. Let's see. Should have went with confidence because it is. It's Detroit at Green Bay on Monday Night Football. The winner of that game takes first place of the division. <laughs> For that, yeah, that game. I gotcha. That, that, <laughs> you're telling me there's a chance. And we're going to get into <laughs> Green Bay here. We have that game highlighted as well. Yes. I, I have a... Uh, Potentially, I I think the Lions could win that game with how the Green Bay played that last game. If they don't make any changes, for sure. That was uh, that was rough. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to move on to uh, a highlighted game here, which is the Cardinals beating the Titans 38-13. to I said it last week. I, uh, I really like the Cardinals, and I, I think the great thing's happening. And uh, Nostra James is here, called it. Yeah, I was uh, it's the total opposite on this one. I was a little leery on Kyler Murray, Murray in general. Um, just didn't feel he had a good year last year. I know it was uh, rookie year last year, right? So, um, I'm shocked to be honest that they played this well. Um, they, uh, they, they, I mean, four touchdowns, interception. He had five. I think he had five touchdowns to total, didn't he? He ran one, yep. Kyler Murray. Ran one I'm not looking at touchdown. the stat board right now, but. Uh, I'm looking it up. DeAndre Hopkins had a pretty good game. 83 yep. yards, two touchdowns. Christian Kirk had two touchdowns. Um, so, yeah, that they were AJ the Green ball. needed to get in there, but he couldn't. Right? I mean, they, you know, they went pretty much every quarter scoring except for the fourth. Even Tennessee didn't do anything in the fourth. Um, I, I'm a little shocked on Tennessee. Um I think that's the bigger picture for me. Rushing, right? Derrick Henry had 17 carries, 58 yards, no touchdowns. Tannehill was 212 yards passing, touchdown and interception. That's that's not going to cut it. Oh, five Jones, five sacks from the Cardinals. Mm -hmm. That and then was don't forget it, they have JJ um, Watt there as well now. Yeah, what's what? Yeah, JJ Watt wasn't even didn't even need to be there the way Jones was playing. Um. What was his name? Lawan Le Tyler Tyler Lawan. Yep. Was he the tackle or playing on that side that Jones was just you know taking him to school? So yeah, their it's... defense was awesome. They played great overall. So I know a lot of people. I you know we have uh to me I well I call it the confirmation bias of the Seahawks where they see the Seahawks do good every year, and I'm gonna say I think the Seahawks are pretty overrated. I, I think the car, like when we're talking about this division, I think it's truly mm -hmm. the untested Rams, which we'll get into later, which I think is going to be competing with Arizona for one and two spot in this division. And then, then the Seahawks, then the 49ers, but I, I don't, the Seahawks to me are just, you know, they, they ride the back of Russell Wilson and that, that feels like it. And the 12th man, that's really what it is. They have home games. They have a great stadium, right? You know, the 12th man kicks in. They they show up. I, I think they help win a lot of their games as well. I mean, in the past, they've had great teams as well, great coaching. But I, I don't think – I think this year we're going to see a huge regression. Nostra James says it. Believe it. Mark these words at the end of the season, <laughs> you know, when we're all like, oh, my – when everybody else is like, I can't believe the Seahawks didn't even go break even. And I'm here like, told you so. Right. Yeah I, yeah, I said that too. They won't even break even. They would be below a 500 team. Who now? The Seahawks. Seahawks? No, I don't yep, agree with below that. Below 500 team. I don't agree with that. I think they're going to be a decent team. I think they'll. I think they'll be one of the one the second in that division. Third, I um, bet. But that's a, uh, not even five. I, mean, I know they played. They played the Colts. The Colts aren't really 
You know, there's nothing really well, with them talk, this I year. I mean, just right in now. the within their division, you play four games against against two teams, which I think are better teams, and I think they're gonna beat them, which is the Rams and the and the Cardinals. Mm-hmm. I think both those teams are gonna sweep them. That's four games mm-hmm. r- alone, right there, not including every other team they play. Yeah, I don't know if they'll sweep the Colts. I mean, the I'm still not 100 percent sold on Arizona, just because they had a really good game. They were uh, Tennessee had this big hype about them doing well and being a good team. You know, it was just it, I think it was just a beginning season game for them. No one was talking about the Cardinals. No one thought they would do anything. Um, I was. You're never gonna see. I was. You're never. <laughs> uh, you were, but not everybody. And you, you're not. You're you're never rarely if you're ever gonna see another another game of five sacks. And somebody dominating that much. I mean, unless you're playing Madden. That's oh, only sure, man. I see that. Aaron Donald does it. I mean, Aaron he, Donald's he done it. Five Sue's sacks done it. a game. Not every, every not, not, not every game. You, no, you see that but... once a year from one player. You're not going to see that from multiple. Uh, no, people. if he does it again, then we'll say something. But I mean, you're also playing yeah. the Colts. Colts have a beat up offensive that's line. That's what I'm saying. So, I you know, well, I mean, no, I'm not talking about the Colts. You played Tennessee, so oh, excuse um, me, Tennessee, yeah, Arizona, so. And you, he, he, he beat a good offensive lineman too. Yeah. Right. Um, I mean, so I, I think, like I, I said, know. I think that team's better than it is. I think uh, Titans are also trying to play catch up a bit there, but but we yeah, shall I see. Think, we I think Tannehill's is blown out of proportion too. I don't think he's that great of a oh. quarterback. You know, he's had a lot of ups and downs. How about and this? I think, he's an above I, average QB. I, I wouldn't go that far. Yeah, I mean, I I think he is. I think he's a think above he's average, average QB, average, and he's best. a game manager. He's not. He's, he's not a, a playmaker. He's, he's a game. He's a game manager, not a game. You know, a playmaker. That's what he. Yeah, no, I think he's average at best. I don't think he's that great of a quarterback. We've already seen, we've already seen that that type of play, and I mean, we saw it right then when he doesn't have an offensive line. I think that's with any, a lot of quarterbacks. So when you don't have an offensive line that can keep you off the ground. Mm-hmm. Um, you're going to have lots of issues. And he was under pressure constantly and making a lot of mistakes. Yeah. Our next game we're going into is the Seahawks beating out the Colts 28 to 16. Um, I'm actually surprised the Colts, um, you know, even though I do say, I think the, uh, the Seahawks will be below 500. I did. I did have the Seahawks probably winning this game. Um, Colts. I, you know, I think they're going to be a decent team. Got a lot of things to worry about. I think Carson Wentz is pretty good. Um, Mm -hmm. You know, I I just think they have a lot to work on, like connection wise with Wentz. Um, it's it's a tough team to call, just because I th- I don't think they have all the the pieces there for one, and I think they're still trying to build a rapport between their quarterback and receivers. Defense defensive wise, they're they're not bad, they're they're okay. But a team like uh, Seattle, I I I'll take Seattle every time. Over the, over a team like the Colts, Colts, mm-hmm. Colts. They're not a Colt. Colts. Cool. They're Colts. No. <laughs> <laughs> Indianapolis Colts. No. Uh, next game is uh, we have this one uh, just for an injury, big injury. Uh, the Chargers beating Washington twenty to sixteen. Pretty close game. Uh, Washington losing Ryan Fitzpatrick. What in the half? Right before halftime or so. Pretty pretty big injury, pretty significant injury. Uh, he's out. I think what eight weeks, and he, he's he's probably not guaranteed his job mm. back, depending on how well Washington plays. If uh, Heineke, I believe it's Heineke, can go out there yep. and play pr- play decent, I think they'll keep riding the hot hand. And honestly, for Washington's sake, uh, you know, I, I hope they do. I am a decent Washington fan. I've kind of grown to love them as the underdog, but. Uh, them Chargers, you know Justin Herbert. He's he's a he's an amazing player. Uh, I'm not big on you know other than Joey Bosa. I'm not big on the Chargers defense. I know they have some other playmakers, but I'm not I'm not sold on them. But Washington's defense, I'm very much sold on. Yeah, I don't know about Heineke. I think a lot of people, a lot of is unknown about him. Uh, they need to get another quarterback in there. You know whether. Um, I don't know who it would be, but they need to find someone else and bring it in because it's just going to be it's going to be a tough tough up, uphill battle. I mean uh Yeah. I mean he had a decent, you know, 11 15, 122 yards, 
one touchdown coming in and you know, taking over. Mm-hmm. But um, I mean, we're we're we'll gonna see. talk. He's got a ways to go. Our next game is a game. Uh, I believe I called and you didn't. You weren't sold on it, which is the Jets losing to the Panthers fourteen to nineteen, which I said yeah, I would be. I don't. I, I said Sam I Darnold. Carolina. I, all right, maybe I well, sold it. I think I sold it on you. I which called is them winning. Sam Darnold, I, it's a revenge game. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, roll the tape. Revenge game? Like, what did he have for stat wise? You know, it's hey, a dub's a dub, baby. Twenty four, thirty five, two seventy nine, a touchdown. It's not bad. A dub is a dub, but baby. It's the Jets. So the Jets J-E-T-S, are they're no better Jets, than they were Jets, last Jets. year, even with with uh, Sam Darnold. So I. I don't see the Jets doing well, and I don't see the Panthers doing well this year. He, I think mean, this is a good win for Darnold, for his confidence. I disagree. I, just like Carson Wentz, I think they're both not – they're average quarterbacks. All right, you so know, they, they have a potential of losing their starting positions here soon. If we look at – I want to look at some teams here. If we look at – so the Jets, I think we could universally agree. I, we think they're going to be a pretty bad team. Panthers, I actually think they're going to be a pretty decent team. I think they're above 500 team. With one exception, and that's that they they trade off with the Saints. They at least go one and one against the Saints. I don't see them beating the Bucks, but I know if they could trade a game with the Saints, I could see them going above five hundred. Um, great defense, amazing defense. Carolina is an amazing defense. Their offense is. I mean, you have, when you have Christian McCaffrey, anything can happen. Robbie Anderson has that built-in rapport with Sam Darnold. I mean, we saw it that game. Built-in rapport looks great. I think it only can go higher as he builds a closer rapport with Christian McCaffrey and and his offensive line, and and even the other receivers and tight ends. Um, defensive defensively, I think they're pretty good. Um, I don't see them winning the division. Obviously, I don't even know if they make the playoffs, but I could see them being above five hundred team. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see either one of these teams doing real well. Now another highlighted game we have is the Jaguars losing to the Texans, twenty-one to thirty-seven. This game was a blowout, and I don't. I I think we we were questioning the Texans for sure. I think we did take the Jags in this one, but my the Texans. I'm gonna say this. I think they won because of the unknown. Like, yeah. yeah. How many people could have answered who is the starting running back for the Texans? I think most people still can't answer that. It, is it David Johnson or Mark Ingram? I think it's Mark Ingram. Well, you would think David but, Johnson would be the one. Yeah. But Mark Ingram was the one that carried the most. So. Exactly. And then Tyrod Taylor being Tyrod Taylor, doing his thing, going out there, and you know, still being a playmaker. Well, the fact that he didn't get hurt is a good thing. Because he's probably, yeah. you know – made it through a game without getting hurt because he played for the Browns too. And he had issues with that. And um, so, no, it was good to see him play well. Um, Trevor Lawrence, you know, they relied on him way too much and he made a lot of mistakes. Yep. I mean, rookie QB, the, the quote unquote Messiah of football uh, didn't look that good. Did not look that good. Um, Yeah. I mean, Pretty surprising that the Texans were able to pull that. It just look absolutely dominating. You know, with everything going on in the Texans organization, it's going to feel good to have that kind of win. Uh, let's see if they can carry it. I don't know if they can carry it next week. We'll be getting into games next week. Uh, who they play next week. Yeah, they're they're not going to win next week is what we'll say. <laughs> they play your Browns. No. Oh, yeah. That's Speaking of awesome. the Browns, that's uh that's one yeah, of uh, my games my that which my is game, your right? game. The so, Browns yeah. losing to the Chiefs 29 to 33. Duck, tell me what happened. Yeah, overall um first half was was great. Browns were dominating. They had a really good first half. Um all right, they, they should have won the game. Yeah. Oh, they should have, but they made a lot of mistakes in the second half. You know, Chubb had a fumble. Our punter can't catch the ball, uh, fumble, <laughs> you know, loses it, and then they get a touchdown off of that. And then we throw an interception at the end. Um, our defense played a, way too much zone, in my opinion. They should have been having somebody uh, on Tyreek Hill the entire time. Now, I know he's fast. I get that. Um, 
just even it was backtrack even to that we we lost one of our starting offensive linemen right off the bat he got hurt he was out uh, jedrick wills jr was gone um harrison jr got ejected from the game from pushing a coach stepping that on a player him first. well he didn't step on, step on a player him. rewatch it rewatch stepping it on a p- <laughs> he no don't even don't don't get me fired up about this he stepped on nobody one of the other players from Kansas City pushed him he and did, his foot hit he him. He didn't stop on me. He got he pushed was stepping and his around foot hit his jersey. Watch didn't it. Do just any watch pressure. it again. It, it, yeah, watch it again, okay? Because it wasn't he wasn't stepped on. He got pushed back onto him. The coach should have some rep, you know, reparations. This reminds him me of Sue. Sue wasn't Reprimand. trying to kick that guy in the nuts. He Come was on. not. And he wasn't trying to stomp on him either. Come on. Sue you was a clean different. player. Just as much as Garrett wasn't trying to hit the guy. Yeah, in the head Garrett with the just was taking his helmet yeah. off and offering it to the player. That's, That's all he was all doing. He was right? doing. Come That's on. it. So no, he was not stepping on him. He was pushing <laughs> him off because he got pushed first. So the coach should have got ejected as well, in my opinion. Anyway, that hurt us because he was one of our best safeties out there. And so that For hurt sure. us with not keeping Tyreek Hill in check, right? And so um your camera went blank. There you go. Um, that, that hurt us a lot. So we needed someone, I think they, they needed to make some changes on defense. Our defense was getting just throttled. We weren't getting enough pressure. Um, but we're playing a good team. You know, Kansas city is a great team. They came back with most of their starters as well. Got, they had some new offensive linemen, uh, for them and they played pretty well. You know, um, overall we had a great first half. The second half we fell apart. Um, I think but we still kept it entertaining. Yeah. Oh no. I'm even. I've said this even last week before, or I don't know if it was off air or not, but we were talking about I'm like if the Browns just keep it competitive, keep the game kind of like Thursday night football game was. I'm happy. I think this was a good game for them. Um, it still shows we got a lo- long ways to go under defense. Our defense d- did not look good, and I was not happy with with the way they're playing, uh, even on the defensive line. But I think that's a that's a big thing: defensive line, offensive lineup. I talk about that all the time. Is those two are sound, it makes everything else work a lot better. Our um our our safeties looked really slow. Uh, I felt they were really slow. Joe or Johnson, um, not having Harrison Jr. That doesn't help either. But um overall, I think the game was great. You know, Baker didn't play. He played okay. You know, the interception interception at the end. He was getting hit and he was trying to throw it away. Just couldn't was get it away though? in time. Was he? Yeah, he was. <laughs> Chubb had a good game. You know, that fumble really hurt because that, that lead it into some points. Um, you know, Cream Hunt was was good. No OBJ, which was unfortunate. I think we got to get him in there. I think he's a huge dynamic player that we need to have um, that will really open up that field more. So I told you, he'll I, come he's, back. A, he's a great player. He's a great dynamic player. I've said this previously in the past. Um, for what he's worth, I don't think he's worth the price tag. I think you could get you know some better players all around skill position players whatever you said want to say within that price range you could upgrade somewhere else and you can even still have mm. a good receiver like under you know like if you if you cut his his price tag in half i guarantee you would get you could still get a top tier free agent receiver i mean with that said though i i st- you know given most receive you know receivers out there if you told me they were the same price tag, I probably would still want OBJ, even though he has a big injury history, which I have huge question marks on. But I would still I take him all, over a do. lot of players. I mean, if, we have a long. Give me a, a healthy season, OBJ right? against pretty much anybody in the NFL, and I'll take a healthy OBJ. Yeah, we have got 16 games left, so I'm not too worried. Actually, I'll, um, I'll say this: I'll take hopefully I'll take OBJ over anyone in the league right now. A healthy OBJ gets any player in the league. I would rather have a healthy OBJ. Yeah, I, but that's, you know, wide receiver. We're still unsure where he's at. Mm-hmm. Um, hopefully he'll come back next week and like you said we're playing uh Houston. Um yep. that we'll, should, we'll get into that in a bit. That should be a, a win on that, but anyway, uh yeah, we'll talk about that. But overall, I'm I'm as as a true fan, I was disappointed they lost. I feel that this is like one of those games where they they should have won like they did last year in the playoffs. Um, but overall it was a good, good game. And I think they're going to, um, bounce back from it. Mm. Going on, we'll move on to the next game. Uh, Dolphins beating out the Patriots 17 to 16, inching it out one point at a time. Uh, I mean, 
neither of these teams like jump out to me on the paper. I know Bill Belichick, we, you know, one of the greatest coaches of, of all time. We, you know, we want, we expect the Patriots to do better, but I mean, in division game, I always feel in division games are a toss up for the, for the most part, uh, especially with the Dolphins in the history of battling against Bill Belichick. Plus with that said, uh, Tua, Tua looked okay. He looked decent. Had some great plays. You know, Mac Jones also looked pretty good, but yeah, I mean, they just good. inched it out. I mean, if, if you would have flipped the score, people would have been praising Mac Jones, talking about how great he was. But yeah. I mean, it's good to see, you know, human humanness of it. Uh, one of the games, uh, I'm going to skip one game. We're going to go into the Broncos at at the Giants. Broncos winning 27 to 13. I didn't really see this one. I thought the Giants would pull this out. You know, you got uh, Saquon back. You have Galladay out there. Galladay didn't really do much. But then again, I mean, the Giants defense stunk. Let me, let me correct that. Stinks. They're not they're not anything to write home about. I mean, they, they spent too much money on the offensive side of the ball and not in the right spots. I mean, Galladay, an ex-Lion. I love Galladay. He runs some of the smoothest routes. I mean, he's not the fastest guy. But he'll just out out route you. His biggest problem though is just like OBJ, and it's the same thing. It's why I'm glad the Lions let him go. He can't stay healthy. He's hurt. Mm -hmm. I mean, OBJ can out out route you and outrun you. So at least you got that. Galladay could just out route you, and he's a good big body, good radius, good catch radius, smooth, good catching hands. But ultimately if you're not if you're not healthy and on the field you're not gonna do well and uh the giants gladly took him off our hands and he's just you know you get a downgraded quarterback going from matthew stafford to daniel jones yeah i think uh teddy bridgerunner had a pretty good game mm -hmm. you know I, that's another surprise well. too melvin teddy. gordon melvin gordon melvin yeah gordon i was very low on him yards. oh he had yeah, a, man, i think a 70 yard breakout too yeah. He still showed you he could turn the burners on. Yep. Very impressed. I mean, in fantasy, uh, he's a guy I, I was avoiding, like the plague. I mean, time will see. He gets injured a lot, so I, we'll see if I paid off by avoiding him. But right now, I'm kind of kicking myself. <laughs> uh, now, our next game here is uh, this is the game we're, we'll be talking a bit about. It's the Packers losing to the Saints 38-3. Uh, to 3. Aaron, can we – let's agree on one thing. Uh, Aaron Rodgers has checked himself out of Green Bay. No, oh, yeah, he he looked awful. He discount double checked his way out the door. That was bad. The champ Wait, has left the building. Did I didn't watch much of this game? Oh, I did. But I didn't realize Jordan Love. Did he actually play? They benched Rodgers. Yes. Are you serious? They benched Rodgers and put Jordan Love in, and Jordan Love. Actually looked pretty good. Now, before this game came on, I don't know if this played for everybody else, but for uh, you know, being a Midwest guy here, they played. Uh, they played an interview between Rogers and uh, I can't I can't remember her name, but they played an interview, and in the interview, he talked about, you know, he's ready to move on past this year. You know, he talked about they drafted my replacement. That says enough. You know, it, you have my replacement. Let me move on. And then he goes out there and just just looked like he didn't want like he didn't care, like he looked yeah, like he was still balls up. He, two interceptions. That, that's very unusual. Well, that and like when you watch him throw, overthrowing receivers is like he like he's just eh, here you go. Mm -hmm. Did you get it? And then you could tell even the head coaches are trying to like appease appease him by letting him go for it on fourth and two, which they right. didn't do in the championship game. Last mm -hmm. year, fourth and two, you're down by a, down by eight, and they decide to kick a field goal and take their chances at getting the ball back. Like, excuse me? Like, you have one of the best QBs in the game, and you're not going to go for it? I don't care how I mean, many times their, he didn't make it. You still their, go for it. Their rushing was horrible. You know, Aaron Jones, five carries, nine yards. Uh, AJ Dillon at four all, carries, nine yards. They're big yards. three, right? All right. So when we talk about fantasy, there's two players that are, are drafted in the first round within that team Aaron Jones and Devontae mm -hmm. Adams. Both of them put under five, I believe both put under five points. Yeah, that was horrible. 
And then Aaron Rodgers puts up like one and three if you're in PPR. 15 of 28, 133 yards, two interceptions. That's the lowest QBR rating wow. of his career. The lowest QBR rating of some professional quarterbacks who have just started in this league or <sighs> most backups have, have had. Yeah, it was a pretty, pretty rough look on that game. But, I mean, if if you don't look at that game and you don't feel like he's checked out, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, take it from us. He's he's checked out. He wants to discount double check his way to another team. And I was going to say the Broncos would gladly take him, but I think they might be happy with Teddy B. Now, with that said, <laughs> watching this game, the, Devontae Adams, whether he was benched or sat out, did not play another snap once Rodgers was taken out. Devontae Adams was asked, about a contract extension, and he said, my future is tied to Aaron Rodgers. He said, it's hard when you've caught only passes from one QB to think right. about catching them from others. So that that's – I mean, what kind of trade would it be for you to go out and be like, go get Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams? Well, Green Bay, I mean, what do you – that would, game, who, who, who's going to – I mean – they, they, he was t at one point they were tied to Cleveland about him being traded over there. You know, I, I don't, I wouldn't want him. I, I think he's, he's I'd love more, to see him go to Detroit. Detroit. Oh my God. Well, Detroit, Detroit, come on, yeah. come on, baby. He's, they're not going to trade him in division. No, they division. wouldn't trade There's him. No I mean, next year. I mean, the biggest yeah. problem is uh, Jared Golf. I mean, huge. I, I don't even know if I see Jared. They, the Detroit organization talks about loving Jared Goff, and he does statistically have one of the best QBR ratings mm -hmm. for quarterbacks. I, I was surprised when I saw the statistic as well, but I'm not – like, just the eyeball test, you're not sold on him right away. Sunday helped me a little bit like him more, but, like, I mean, of course, when you look at, it, like, a Hall of Fame QB like Aaron Rodgers, you're like, yeah, I'll take that. Same thing with Brady. If Brady was on the free agency, I'd be like, get rid of golf. Let's take Brady. But ideally, that, that's not smart. Mm -hmm. Brady's done any second. Rodgers is out of the league in any second. I think I, I think Rodgers will go to another team, and he still wants to play ball. He wants to prove he, he don't need Green Bay. He's going to farm his way out. He's going to prove yeah, he don't, don't – I don't need you. It's not a good, good not a good start, even if you don't want to be there uh, to, to look like that, though. Mm -hmm. On a side note, the Saints looked okay. They looked pretty good. Played at home, though. Yeah. Yeah, um, um Jameis Winston. I mean, we could also be talking like let's say let's say Rodgers was playing his best, right? Like the Saints played lights out then. And and maybe we should be talking that way is that the Saints shut Rodgers out. Maybe that's the real conversation here. Is that yeah. Rodgers was shut out by the Saints defense. We don't I, I think we both can feel that that's probably not the way. And watching the game myself, I don't feel that's the way. But it could be. I also think Rodgers was just playing like he's like, you know, backyard. You know, he makes catch, makes catch. I don't care. Now let's move on to um, Sunday night's game. This is, uh, I have this one start off as well. The Bears lose to the Rams 34 to 14. My boy, Matthew Stafford. Looking good. Mm -hmm. It feels good to see him go to a better team. A team with an all-star defense. Much better offense and a coach that can utilize the offensive play call and actually have good plays. Well, and the fact that he ha didn't have to throw 50 plus attempts to make to win a game, right? Mm -hmm. He had 26 attempts, 21 yards, three touchdowns. His, he had a running game that can help with him yeah. a little bit. I mean, the, the they first time he had a, a good great, running but, game. Yeah. So, I mean, Daryl Henderson was the only one that was really doing anything, but, um, Great receiving core with with Cup and Jefferson Higby, you know, all over over sixty five plus yards. So I mean, it was a overall good game. Yeah, he he looked amazing. He looked great. Really happy for him. Our last good game is the Ravens losing to the Raiders twenty seven thirty three. Great game to watch. I don't, I, I love this game. It, but I love watching. I love seeing that score. I like. Watching I stayed up games. all night and watched this game. I mean, I'll be honest. Be, probably didn't help me in my sickness, but oh, 
I I mean, it was almost a heartbreaker. The Raiders got down to the one, right? Well, first off, let's talk about how dramatic this game was. So the Ra the Ravens go kick a field goal to w or they get a touchdown to be ahead. Or excuse me, they kick a field goal to get ahead. The Raiders then get the ball back, rush down, kick a field goal to take it into overtime. They go to overtime, Raiders get the ball first. They start chucking the ball. Boom, boom, boom. They get one deep play. I can't remember to who. I think it was Edwards. Jones. Jones? They get the ball. No, I think it was Edwards. Like, they get this ball, and they think they get it in. They think they get a touchdown. It looks like a touchdown. Players start going on the field, shaking hands, saying, good game, good game. The booth is like, hey, we're reviewing this play. The, on TV, they start reviewing it. It's very clear. He's short. So then they have to go back to the one. All of a sudden, they try running it two or three times. Whiff, whiff, whiff. Then they try to throw the ball. Interception. On the on like the one, I think they end up getting a penalty and it goes back to the five or six. But then it gets intercepted after hitting a guy's helmet. Lamar Jackson gets the ball. It looks like it's over. He starts throwing a couple dimes, hitting there and there. All of a sudden, boom! He throws a pick, or he fumbles. Excuse me, he fumbles the ball. The Raiders mm -hmm. get the ball back. They get field goal range. John Gruden's all right. We're going to kick the. Uh, we're going to go kick the ball in. Here we go. Or excuse me, I think it's Jay Gruden. They go. We're going to kick the field goal. Penalty. They get a penalty. Yep. Delay a game. Backs them up. Now they have to run a play. They run a play. Throw a touchdown. Boom. End of game. It was. That's the one to Jones for thirty-one yards. Yeah. Wow. It was. Woo. It was, a, it was another good game to watch. Week one was full of some really good games. I enjoyed that one a lot. The Raiders Derek actually Carter looked great. Darren Waller, yeah. I have him in a couple best, like I think two best ball leagues, and my God, I wish I had him in more. He was peppered with targets. I think he almost had 20 targets Nin that game. 19 targets, 19, 10 receptions. 19. Wow. And it was very clear. He was the guy. Now, from a fantasy oh. perspective, there's a guy named Edwards out there. I don't can't remember his first name, but you should be picking that guy Brian. up. Brian Edwards. It was Brian very Edwards. clear. They Henry Ruggs was an afterthought. Edwards was the guy. That was the receiver. They didn't throw to a receiver until I think like the second half. <laughs> it was Darren Waller or a, a running back. Wow. Now, with that said, uh, let's we're, let's go through. Um, do you want to do? Uh, Power rankings, real quick. Yeah, I'll probably do it quickly though. Let's yeah, let's do it quickly. Uh, we'll just talk about uh, talk the number. Like, give me give me the first place team. Actually, let's go backwards. Yeah, and then we'll say high or lower, like or agree, high low agree. Okay, so I had to pull it back up here. So Jaguars moved back from three ranks to rank 32. I agree with that. I do I too. had a bad game uh, overall, so that was definitely there. They have the Lions staying at 31, so didn't move. I, I think they could have moved up a couple. They had a pretty good game coming back, but I think what hurt them is, you know, that first half. Um, You know, they did stay trailed by 28 points. They came back. They gave it a good fight, but uh, I think they're better than some of these other teams. I think they could definitely moved up. I think um, so we got the, the Jets at 30. They moved down two ranks. Like that right there, I think the Lions and Jets should have at least swapped out of that, in my opinion. I, I think so, too. Uh, I think the Lions will always have, kind of like the Browns had for a long time, that stigma of you're just a loser. Yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. You know as a Browns fan exactly how yep. how other teams feel about you. Like, it's oh, just yeah. a stigma. You're just a loser. Like, yep. people who yep. still – there are people who still hear the Browns go, you're, you know, you, you guys lose. Right. Right. Houston Texans uh, moved up three spots to rank 29. I think that was good. I, 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 I could agree with this one, even though I'm still, I have huge question marks on them, but okay. Right. Um, Atlanta Falcons dropped two from uh, 26 to 28. I think which that's fine. I could think be that, maybe yeah. lower, but fine. I, I think that should have been for 
The Giants dropped three um, from 24 to 27. They which fine. I think they were, to me, they were too high already from the beginning. Yeah. So they should have never been that high ranked up. Uh, Chicago Bears dropped five from 21 to 26. I could definitely see that. Mm-hmm. Um, going, it, just real quick on the Giants. I think if they yeah. continue to drop and lose, um, it's going to show how bad their pickups are. Like like the players right. are signing. Huge, huge. Down yeah, down. I don't know if Dan- off Daniel is Jones is there. Is there going to be their starter for two? I don't know. I'm not a big fan of him. Um, Carolina Panthers moved up two spots from 27 to 25. I like this. I, I like it was to okay. see them go higher, but I like. Uh, I wouldn't want to put them any higher than that. I think you're going to see them go back down. Mm-hmm. Vikings dropped seven spots from 17 to 24. Rightfully so. I think that's... I think that's drastic, though. It was an overtime game. It was a close game. It was an away game. Seven spots? They they were you know, projected to blow Cincinnati out, though. They were projected to play a lot better than they did. Like, Cincinnati yeah, wasn't supposed to be close, but... I think Joe Burrow's going to be a good quarterback. I like him as a quarterback, and as, I think he showed some of that potential last year before his injury. As a um, Lions fan, I'm biased, though. I can't. So, ranked 23 is the Bengals. They moved up seven spots from 30 to 23, which is... That's a drastic change. Yeah, I think it's too I think drastic. That's good for, I think it is too much. I think both of those are too much. Mm-hmm. Um, Washington football team moved from 20. They're ranked 22 now. They moved down to. I think it's fair. Where rightfully at so. For now. We're not sure. About, yeah, we're a little questionable on the quarterback. Uh, Colts moved down five from 16 to 21. I, I think, think that's fair. a better fit for them. Tennessee Titans moved down nine. They're ranked 11. They moved them down nine ranks to rank twenty. I think that's that, fair as well. Yeah, that game was that, they got they got rough. They got rough. I mean, I up. I still think they can be a good team, but you know we now have a lot more que- questions. You know, like can this right. team really be like right. this? Could be also you know first game of the season. I mean, look look the Bucks lost last year, and people were like, "Yep, yeah, that's it. Brady's old. He's out. This is over." Right. And then they right. went, and they're, now we're like, go, go. Yeah, we got uh, Dallas Cowboys stayed at 19. I think they could have gone up. This is a team yeah. I think could have gone up a lot. The way they yeah. looked. Especially eyeball the team test. That they played. Yeah, yeah, they're definitely better than that. Um, Cooper and CeeDee Lamb had a great game, you know, with that. Mm-hmm. So And so did Dak. Um, L.A. – or not L.A., excuse me. Las Vegas Raiders moved up from 23 to 18. I like they moved this. Up five spots. I think that's a good one. Um, Eagles moved up eight spots from 25 to 17. I'm not sold I on think this one. That's a little drastic. Yeah. That's that's a little drastic. And I'm not sold on um, the Eagles either. Um, I mean, they beat the Falcons yeah. in my eyes. Not a, not the greatest of football teams, right, but right. I think it's a little high. I think we're going to see them drop. Right. Uh, Denver Broncos went up from 22 to 16, so they're ranked 16. I'll move up six spots. Th- this team, I, I understand they have some pretty good defensive linemen, but holy cow, this, this team is right. way too high to me. Yeah. Uh, Patriots moved down two. They're ranked 15 now. Um, I mean, that's – I mean, you lose a game like that, they should. I think it's okay. Arizona Cardinals moved up only four spots from 18 to 14. Going back to real quick, I'm sorry. Uh, going back to the Patriots, I actually think they should be a lot lower. They should be below below 25. Yeah. Below 25. But Cardinals, I think, should be much yeah. higher. Much higher. Yeah, it would go much higher than that. I mean, maybe higher than the Dolphins. Dolphins are at 13. They moved from 14 to 13. I think maybe you move them into that spot Cardinals right top there. 10 to me, at least. Um. So rank twelve, previous rank four, Green Bay Packers. Wait, wait, wait! Did Ooh. you already do Dolphins? Yeah. Oh, I missed that. They, Dolphins, they I think, from... need to be way lower. I'm not sold. They moved up, yeah. which is terrifying. Yeah, one. That's what I'm saying. I Packers think moving down. Cardinals though. should have been up there. Packers moved to um, rank twelve from four. I think. I think this is I, th- this is because that's of just Rogers. showing. Yep. I mean, Jordan Love. If Jordan Love was a starter, I'd be more sold on the Packers because they actually look decent with him in the game granted i don't think most teams are prepared for i mean you don't have much tape on jordan love as a starter yeah and i think any qb especially with his talent and being able to run the ball run the read option when you don't have tape on how they look how their eyes are moving when they because the read option you got i mean 
for, for the young ones who don't remember you know the read option is just another form of the, like the wildcat okay it's just a mm -hmm. new thing that teams need to evolve into and they eventually will i do think the read option is here to stay i don't you know I, until teams learn to really play against it i don't see it going anywhere but we have seen plenty of teams that run the read option that it's obvious when you look at the QB, you're like, just follow his eyes. And you know exactly where the ball is going because they do the same thing over and over. Mm -hmm. They have a pattern in how they do it. And a lot of teams, you know, can learn that. And, um, you know, not every QB can uh, evolve to, you know, change up their game and change up the way they look when they're doing it. Uh, Jordan Love will see. That's one of those things you got to see. Maybe he is. Maybe he can, uh, you know, evolve his game as people learn to develop against him. But... This team, uh, I I don't know. I think twelve's fine. Another thing too that we didn't talk about before is that this wasn't a home game necessarily for Saints, right? This was in Jacksonville too. So yeah, it wasn't this even was at in their home stadium. And Sean Payton so, got to choose the game, and he purposely chose Jacksonville. Literally yeah, so, looked up hardest stadium to get to from Green Bay, <laughs> right? And went. So it wasn't, you know, it, it that even that's a big thing too to th to look at. Uh, so ranked 11 is the Los Angeles Chargers. They moved up one spot from last week. I'm not sold this team's a top 11 team. You're telling me this team is better than the Chargers, yeah. better than the Cardinals? You're telling me this team is better than the Cardinals. I think this is a decent team. I put this team I think a above. lot of people were sold on, on Justin Herbert, though. So I think, I think he's great. There. I think the offense mm -hmm. has some great pieces. I think the defense has some decent pieces. But I'm not. Like, it's not better than the Cardinals. There's no way this team yeah, is no. better than the Cardinals. No, I like this next move to rank ten is the New Orleans Saints. They moved five, five spots up from last week. Uh, Jameis Woodson didn't. He managed the game. He didn't have a lot of yardage, but he had five touchdowns. I we wish I knew running. our picks from last week because I believe I took the Saints. We did. Yeah, we did. I remember this one. Um, because but we, yeah, that's. That's a good look. They, I, yeah, just, I don't think they're top 10, but I, I like this team a lot. They're definitely top 15. Mm -hmm. Definitely top 15. Uh, San Fran stayed at rank 9. I'm not sold on this team at all. This team should have dropped. No. You almost lost to the Lions, man. You almost let the Lions right. come back. Yeah, 28-point deficit and almost lost, lost like that. The yeah, like, I love my Lions, but you're telling me you almost let the Lions come back? Right. I love the Lions. Like, this is my team. Duck, who's the number one receiver in Detroit? Tell me, please. I don't know. Why Tyrell Williams me? is supposed to be know. number one. He got hurt. <laughs> He's out of the game. Right. Who? That's what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't think anybody else knows. We're working with nobody, you. and you almost you almost <laughs> lose to that. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, Browns stayed at eight, so they're at, at eight there. Um, I think I'm good I'm with okay that. With I think this. that's okay with it. You know, if they would have won that game, of course they would have moved up. Um, but they didn't. You know, we didn't get blown out. We had a horrible second half, but I think that'll be um, that'll be fixed. Um, Baltimore moved moved down two from five to seven. Um, I actually have Baltimore out of my top ten. I wouldn't. Yeah, after that showing, I probably wouldn't have them in there and as it, well. It's not just because that showing. It's because I, when it, earlier I just talked about the read option players being able to evolve the way they play the read option mm -hmm. lamar jackson is one of those guys that you you read his eyes very well and the way he runs the read option guy still got legs still makes plays he's amazing amazing player mm -hmm. has a you know he's got some i mean he proved last year he can show how accurate he is and i, I right. love that he he took that like gritty like watch me do this attitude but i i just don't see see that evolving into this year and um yeah, I just don't think it's a top ten team. I think it's a top fifteen team for sure, though. Um, I think Mel's gonna respond to Mookie. I think he's talking about Garrett Miles Garrett. Defense played played pretty poorly, in my opinion. They, mm -hmm. I mean, they're playing a really good offense. Um, they did not cover Tyreek Hill very well in that game. But um, anyway, moving on to ranked six. We said Baltimore already ranked six. Is the Buffalo Bills? They moved from three back um, three spots to six. Buffalo Bills, I think that's yeah. a, I think that's a big. That I think that was, maybe too too much. I think you know, I, I mean, you and lose they put, the Steelers. Yeah, but the, they moved the Steelers up to rank five, 
Move right, them up I, five that's, spots. That's no. I think that's drastic. No. That's what I'm saying. So no. just because they beat them doesn't mean the Buffalo, Buffalo Bills are worse. All than right. The yeah. I mean, I was going to say uh, the Ravens lost. Yeah. But the Raiders aren't move, above the Ravens. Right. That's what I'm saying. The Raiders are still back, aren't they? Yeah. Um. So I feel like that's a bad, that's a bad, uh, bad. Buffalo, move. I agree going down, but the, the Steelers yeah. are not even top 10 to me. Not even close to being top ten. I mean, here's here's one team that you weren't real sold on yet either. Is uh, rank four is now Seattle Seahawks. They moved up three from seven. Yeah. Uh, who um, who they, who'd they, they beat and they Colts. went up four? They played the Colts. Yeah. That, I don't. I mean, they didn't beat anybody. Yeah. Uh, that, they talk about right Tyler there. Lockett being back as a good <clears throat> target, and I agree. Yes, Tyler Lockett's always right. been a good target when he's healthy. But I right. mean, I don't. I don't see this team. Again, I no, will I stand by my word. Again. This team will not be a 500 team at the end of the year. Hot yeah, take. I, I don't know Hot take. Right. Uh, rank three, Los Angeles Rams moved up three from six oh, to yep. three. I'm okay uh, with this because I look at the other two yep. teams and I'm like, okay. I like right. it. Um, Kansas City Chiefs stayed at, at two. Uh, yep. I mean, I that's, Chiefs that's and Ram- Chiefs, run. Rams. I feel like we could trade those. T- you you could trade those two teams, and I'd be okay with it. Um, I mean, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't trade those. I wouldn't. I don't think the Rams are that close to the Kansas City. With, with how Tampa Bay played, I would be fine putting L.A. at number one. Uh no. Because I do think L.A. I think L.A. is better than the Chiefs. And I do, I, I could see the way they, they looked, they passed the eyeball test, played better than the Buccaneers. Granted, we're going off of just one week. You know, we, we, we got to also pump the brakes. And I will be the first right now to say I'm pumping my brakes on the Rams. I'm okay I'm like, with them being three. Slow down on here. I'm hey, pumping the brakes. They're not, they, they're who'd not they number one. They beat the Bears. Right? I agree. Chicago's That's why good. I'm pumping the brakes. So you, you look at the rank one and two. Would, they played pretty two really good teams. I wish I had a sound so alert saying. to pump the I brakes. Know. I know, but I, I'm just I'm just helping you fill in that that point that you know the Cowboys and the Browns are much better teams than they were last year. They came in played really good against two teams that were in the Super Bowl the year before. So it was good to see. We had really two good games with the top two ranked teams, and I think them staying at that rank is a good is a good pick. Um, but the overall top ten, well, uh, I don't number like one. Did what you say who number one this. was? Yeah, uh, Tampa Bay. We just talked about that. I do. Yeah, number one Tampa. Yeah, I mean they feel good. I I mean I'm okay with it. Uh, Tampa looks great. Seeing the rapport with Brady and Gronk and Brady with Antonio Brown, it looked oh, like yeah. they were getting towards that. How the how the Super Bowl won? When we looked at how they won the Super Bowl, the players that scored yep. touchdowns were players that weren't even on the team at the start of the season. Leonard Fournette, uh, Antonio Brown, and um, Rob Gronkowski. Yeah, they breath. feel like I feel that like their team is is where they at where they were at at the end of the season last mm-hmm. year. Um, if not, maybe a little bit better. So. Um, that doesn't mean, you know, they're going to blow every single team out. I don't see them going seven and five to start like they did last year, but I do see them. I don't see them going undefeated either. Yeah. I, I don't see them losing a couple games. I think, people, I think they're going to be a top ranked team. I think sure. people need to pump the brakes on the undefeated season. People, I don't think a right. lot of people realize like 16 games alone oh, is a lot of games more. to play. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're like you're adding another yeah. game to play. So 17 weeks of playing football, 18 weeks of football. That's a lot of a lot of time, a lot of time for injuries, uh, you know, mistakes, things like that. You know, players get tired, players get hurt, beat up. You know, injuries can happen to the best teams. Let's pump the brakes. Now when we get to week like 10 and 12 <laughs> and they're still undefeated, then we'll let – We'll talk, right? Let's jump on that bandwagon, baby. <laughs> now, now that we did the power rankings, let's go into the last thing. Let's jump into our game picks for next week. Let's start with Thursday night. The Giants. This is a thriller. The Giants at the Washington football team. And let me uh, let me start off by saying. I said a thriller, and I actually do mean it because this is a game that has a lot of question marks, especially if you're a fantasy football owner. Like, 
There are players on these teams you need to worry about. People are. I have Sterling Shepard in a lot of my best ball leagues because I believe he is a better number two than a number one. So when there's a number one, a Kenny Galladay out there, Sterling Shepard can beat a, a one-on-one against your number two corner. He's not going to do that against your best corner, and Kenny Galladay deserves you putting your best corner on him. Mm-hmm. Now, we'll see if Kenny G can stay healthy and keep that for Sterling Shepard, but we'll see. And yeah. then we want to see how Heineke plays. Does he bring down the rest of the team by lowering your QB? You know, you have Antonio Gibson at running back. Does he does he hurt your fantasy team by not having Heineke there? Does Terry McLaurin still have that top-tier wide receiver status with Heineke in? And can the Giants bounce back? Does Barkley look good again? This is a must-win game for both these teams. Who are you picking? Oh, I was about to ask you. I talked the whole time. It's your time to pick, baby. I'm I'm picking Washington. You pick Washington. Uh, I'm picking Washington. Defense, too. and they're at home. So, I mean, even with the question mark on quarterback, I think Washington wins that. I would not with this game. Um, I, I I was gonna write these down. I was gonna write our picks down this time. Yeah. Um, that way I remember next week and I can be like, we, we picked who? <laughs> so I'm, uh, you're going Washington. Mm-hmm. I could go e- Honestly, I could go either way. I would not be surprised if the giants won. I wouldn't be either, but I'm, you know, I'm just going by the home field advantage with a yeah. better defense. So. Um, well, I mean. I don't know if it's much better defense. I think they're both pretty close. I think I'm going Washington as well. I think Washington has to win. But I'm going to be rude. I don't know. I'm probably rooting for the Giants just because I have Barkley in a couple. <laughs> it's Shirley <laughs> Shepard. But, I mean, I have Terry McLaurin in our, our league that we have in our basketball league. I do have Terry McLaurin and Antonio Gibson. So maybe I am rooting for Washington. Now, I'm going to say this. I'm going to backtrack a little bit and say, uh, so for these picks, I think it's. I think we should keep track from this week on mm-hmm. of our picks and see who who calls games better. Who's got the better stats, yep. the better Write record. It Write it down. We're, we're going to see. You don't oh, I got. My, I'm writing uh, it here. right here, baby. <laughs> All right. Next up, Patriots <laughs> at the Jets. I'll just go straight in the pick. I'm picking Patriots on this one. All right, I'm already writing the I'm Patriots not a fan down of for Jets. me. Already writing it down for myself yep. as well. Um, it's at New York. It doesn't matter. To yeah, me. it doesn't matter. Don't. It don't matter. They did just it's lose the to the Dolphins, but I, 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 Bill Belichick, I don't think loses two games in a row, so yeah. I'm okay with that. Uh, here, this one is uh, a harder one to pick. Broncos at the Jags. <sighs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the Jaguars on this one. This is, um, this is where we break off for me, then. Yeah. I think so because I think Trevor Lawrence is going to have a better game. He, he, he had three touchdowns. He had some got a amount of yardage. Those interceptions. If he cleans that up, I think they win. All right, hold, on, hold on. Hold on. Where the Jag? The Jags were at the Texans. I mean, I think Teddy's going to have a good game still. I think he'll be still playing well. I'm going to be if he rooting. Can stay injury free. I will be Jag, rooting Jag, for the Jags, but I'm going to say that the Broncos win based off of how they played week one. I hope I'm wrong. <laughs> and I want to be wrong. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with my gut and say the Broncos win this one. Next up we have the Bills at the Dolphins. I'm just gonna write the Bills, Bills. for both of us. <laughs> that that's no brainer on that pick. Now if they lose that game we're we're ta- we're having we're, a, we're having crisis alert. Right. Woo, right woo. yeah Price yeah, alert. Lose. That's not good. Uh, to me, this is a good game. 49ers at the Eagles. Who wins this one? 49ers yeah, this almost is, uh, blowing it to the Lions. Noon game. Eagles, though, uh, didn't look Eagles too bad. Eagles are a hard place to play, too, really. Um, Jalen Hurts, Garoppolo. I'm going to stick with San Fran. I am, too. And I'm, I'm going to say this This is why. Because I think, I think they just had a little bit of hiccup against the Lions. I I still don't think this team's the greatest. I don't I don't mm. even see them being third in their division. 
But I do think they're still a good team. And I, I think they just had a little bit of a hiccup against Detroit. But they still didn't look good. And I, I, I think they can beat the Eagles. Uh, number six, uh, I'm just going to write the Rams for both of us. Yeah. yeah. Rams at Colts? No way. No way, mm -hmm. Jose. Colts don't have a chance in that game. <laughs> what I wish I I wish it showed the spread. It it's got to be like thirty, right? All right, uh, Raiders at the Steelers. Uh, I'll go first. I'm gonna, I'm picking the Raiders. Yeah, I I being a Browns fan and a <laughs> lifelong hatred of the Steelers. You, I can't. You just pick can't. You can't. You can't do so it, I even though it's pick, in the yeah. steel curtain. Yeah, I think the Raiders look good. Um, I think they can come in, in and win this if they start off strong. If they if they have any issues from the beginning, though, they're going to lose. So mm -hmm. it's going to be a close game. I'm going Raiders on this one. I'm for sure going Raiders. Uh, Bengals at the Bears. The BBs. The Bears, the Bears such inconsistent in quarterback. I don't know who they're going to play. They had Fields come in a couple snaps. He played well. Was it Andy Dalton? Looked like garbage. Um, I'm gonna go Bengals. I am too. I'm going Bengals as well. I'm not high on the Bears at all. Could be my Lions biases, mm -hmm. but, you know. Now, <laughs> here, here's the game my of the team. week. Mm -hmm. The game of the week: the Texans versus the Browns. Well, I'm going Browns. Uh, I think Texans are still going to be a pretty decent team with this. I think it's going to be a closer game than we. I than think I I'm to obligated be. to go against you but here. That's fine. I feel like I have to, but I can't. So I'm writing the Browns. <laughs> I do but feel yeah, obligated yeah, to. If they lose this game, this is this is kind of like the Bills. If they lose this game, it's like oh crap. Here we not go. Not over. They're just. It's not over, but it's just a bad. It's going to hurt. Beginning start right. All right, here's one. Saints, Panthers. Saints. Saints at the 100%. Panthers. So you're going Saints. Um, yeah. Now, this is Saint in Darnold, Carolina. Dude. There's no way. Um, I'm, I'm going to go Panthers, actually. Oof. I'm still I'm sold on Sam Darnold. I like him. I think they still have a defense. And I'm not sold on the Saints just yet because of how Green Bay played. We really don't know. Was were the Saints just really that good on defense, or did Aaron Rodgers check out? Well, I think we'd be having Aaron a different Rodgers, conversation. The whole team played, played bad, so I I, uh, I agree. But I mean, Saints. I'm again I'm going Panthers. <laughs> we shall see, my young Padawan. <laughs> uh, my pick is obvious for this next one: Vikings at the Cardinals. I'm going Cardinals all day. You know, I was. I was leaning towards Vikings on this. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm but, still putting it but in your head. The defensive line on the Cardinals is just, if if Jones can blow up that you know Taylor Lewan like he did for five sacks. Plus you got the other guy on the other side. Um, I got Cardinals. They're gonna they're gonna put so much pressure on Cousins. He's just gonna make many mistakes. So yeah, I, I see the Cardinals as well. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and write the Bucks for Man, us both. Falcons, though. Matt Ryan. <laughs> no. Buccaneers, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Falcons at the Bucks. Uh, I think it's a slam dunk home run Bucks. All right. Uh, a closer game here. I'll go. Uh, I think it's my turn to go first. I'm going to go mm. with the Titans over the Seahawks, even though Ooh. they're at home. Ooh. No. Seahawks. The Seahawks are at home. Seahawks are at home. They don't. It's just a hard place to go in and win at all. Uh, I've got Seahawks. I'm putting, I'm I'm putting my money where my mouth is, and I'm saying, you know, I'm walking the walk here. <laughs> that the Titans will beat the Seahawks. Nah. I don't believe in the Seahawks. I'm not sold on the Seahawks, mm -hmm. and I think the Titans, after losing like that, are going to come back and uh, show show them what's up. Mm -hmm. Uh this one, um. I'm interested to see what you think. Uh, Cowboys at the Chargers. I'm going Cowboys on this one. I think Cowboys came off a pretty good game. Um, Chargers should have never went that high in the ranking. Um, I think, you know, Herbert, it's Herbert there, right? Um, is still, he's a rookie. 
Yeah, Dak Prescott is going to continue well. I think God, I got Cowboys on this one. As the title of the stream says, how about them Cowboys? I'm going Cowboys. All right, uh, Chiefs at the Ravens. Who is my pick? I got to go first, too, mm -hmm. don't I? This one's rough. I, uh, I want to go Chiefs. And I'm going to go the Chiefs. <laughs> because I'm not... I, I'm not like I said. I'm not sold on the Ravens. I'm not. I mean, when your quarterback does the read option, you see it enough at practice for both teams. Uh, but I, I, this game could go either way. This might be a surprise. And I, the reason I say that too is because like both QBs are very much read option QBs, and they both you know are dynamic in their ability to run the football. I think Patrick Mahomes is a much more better ball like he you know uh like he could be a pocket passer if you took his run game away he could still be a pocket passer i don't feel that about lamar jackson so i'm yeah. gonna go chiefs so this this game um i'm gonna go chiefs as well but what's gonna keep it interesting and the possibility of the ravens winning if they watch the film from the browns is to have somebody that can guard tyree kill if somebody's on Tyreek Hill, I think that really shuts down and really um, slows down the Chiefs. How about Kel I mean, even Kelsey, even even with T Kelsey, just because he's not fast, you know, he can catch the ball. But he's you the have number one receiver. Kel cool. Kelsey's the number one receiver. Uh, Tyreek is the deep ball guy. Tyreek can catch pretty much anything, like he did when he threw that ball up. There's no way. There's no reason he should have caught that ball. If Johnson was paying attention. And actually looking at where the ball was going, he, he, the ball was in the air for like five minutes. That should have never happened. That seventy-five yard pass. So if if you got people and if they're watching, if they're fast enough on the, on the defense secondary, they can stop Hill. They can win that game, but they have to do that. And are they? I don't know. I don't know how fast they are. I don't. I don't think they are. Hill is. He's. A, he's. A, he's a beast. So he showed it. Absolutely. Um. So your pick on this last one, I'm gonna I'm gonna step aside real quick. I'm I'm so, I'm still listening. Lions at Green Bay. Okay. Um. I think I think we're gonna see a different side of of Rogers. I think he's gonna come back and do really well. Um, whether he wants to be there or not, whether he wants to be a part of this team or not, he's still got to show show up and do well. He can't just. Um, pretty much pout on the sidelines if he can't get his way and then just throw a game or not do well. I'm not saying he threw it, but he didn't play well. Um, I'm picking the Packers on this one to win this game uh, solely because of would. location. And it's just because of location, too. They're at home. Green Bay is a really tough place to play. I think you're going to see a different side of, of Rodgers. He's going to play well. Um, we're going to see the team come back from this. And uh, I just... I don't know. I mean, you know, the, the Lions had a great second half. If they can continue that and push that into the first half of this game, uh, we could see a different game. But I think it's going to be a close game. I'm not saying they're going to get blown out either way. I still think it's going to be close, closer than the last game for both these teams. Um, but I see the Packers edging out and winning this one. I was going to say, uh, the picture above my head and above your head <laughs> Decides who's gonna win this game. All right. Well, there you go. And it's not lo a logical pick. It's what my heart tells me I have to pick. <laughs> I uh, re I mean, the the true analyst in me says that uh, Green Bay is gonna win, but my heart tells me the Lions are gonna do it. But the analyst in me also says there's too many question marks with Green Bay right now, where mm -hmm. I I'm worried about the the state of their franchise with what how Roger if it's true Rogers is kind of throwing the game away and then if they decide I, to bench Rogers yeah that that I was shocked I didn't see that um but I don't see I don't think you're gonna see two awful back to back games from Rogers no matter if he wants to be there or not I don't care if he wants to be traded I don't care what he's doing but and he can't show this and expect any other team is gonna want him when he plays like this. So you're not going to see him come back to back. I need to games. separate myself from you as well. So I'm also, you know, I'm that's why another reason I'm going to Lions. Um, 
before we end it here, let's go over some of the games we disagree on. Uh, I have the Broncos beating the Jags. You you do not. I'm I'm going. I'm only going it because of Urban Meyer. Uh, oh, I think no. he could change some things. He's my Ohio State. You know, we we different coach at one point. So that's kind of why I'm going with that one. Uh, we differ on the Panthers and Saints. Yeah, and then uh, we differ on the Titans and Seahawks. I'm putting my money where my mouth is on that one. And the Lions and the Packers, those are our break games right there where we separate ourselves. <laughs> we will see. How many games is that? is that? Watch that be an even amount. We break even. <laughs> I know, right? I mean, we're we're already, what, a day, two days away from Thursday Night Football already. I know. I mean, that's insane. I know. And, that uh, week flew. It did. <laughs> and, uh, hey, we'll be back next Tuesday for some more football action here talking more sports talk about our picks getting the cast up and getting better by the way we have t-shirts now we have merch we We have have t-shirts we have merch we have cups oh my goodness i saw the cups that's awesome we have t-shirts hoodies they are all in the apparel shop down below on the twitch in my about me you will have to, I believe you have to scroll through. They come in different colors. Uh, I think it advertises as purple, which I tried to get rid of because they look amazing in green. I think the shirts look really good in green. <sighs> they look fire. But it does show purple. If you like purple, hey, they're purple. But you can choose your color on them. Pick whatever you like. Uh, other than that, hey, if you enjoyed this stream, please think about coming and watch us live. You could come out, hang out in the chat. We do chat back. We type back to you. If you watch this on YouTube, hey, thank you for that. We really appreciate that too. Every one of those views. We finally hit double digits. We did it. Yes. And thank you if, so much. If you're for watching that. this on Twitch, that. please go follow our YouTube. Uh, I hope Duck has it handy right now where he can share the link for the YouTube. Just keep talking for a second here. <laughs> James, do what you Hold do on. and ramble quickly. Do what you like to do. <laughs> you know. Keep that chatter. Chip a chatter. Now, I stream on here. This is where I stream. This is my house. Uh, but if you would like to watch Old Duck here, you could go to twitch.tv slash O-L-D-U-K. That's Old Duck on twitch.tv. He streams as well. Go. He streams a lot more than me. Go check him out. Play some amazing games. You've been playing a lot of Rust lately. Yes, we're a lot of Rust. We're going to do some more of that probably. Well, I don't know if we'll stream tonight, um, but for sure Thursday. We'll be back Thursday streaming. And then um, soon to come, at the end of this uh, this month, we'll be getting into New World. Oh. Official. And it's if official. You- if you also like gaming, we do a gaming podcast on right now. It's on Wednesdays right so yes. if you like it and enjoy it come on and hang out with us on wednesday where we talk gaming dads and gaming we do all that kind of stuff we really enjoy that as well we get the lately we've been doing a lot we'll be doing a lot of news up to the minute kind of things and uh we're excited about that with that said i just want to say thank you for being here and have a good night duck thank you for being here as well it is always a pleasure absolutely love being here love hanging out thanks again for everybody else being here too we appreciate it It means a lot to us have a good night see ya